Hey guys, Bubba Week here today and welcome back to Prison Architect. So last time we were kind of shuffling around the high risk area so we could expand the canteen. It seems like that's what we've been doing for the last number of episodes, but uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. So what I'm going to do uh, right now, we're going to go common room and we are going to move the common room down here. So first thing we're going to do, I'm going to try and get this done quickly so that we can... Minimize disruption to the high-risk prison. And I really do want to get started on the low-risk prison. Uh, believe it or not, that is actually something that I do want to work on at some point. <laughs> believe it or not, that will possibly may happen sometime today, Junior. Uh, also, this year, this guard patrol doesn't make any sense whatsoever anymore. Uh, I think we'll get a new guard patrol that goes like this. Oops. Yeah, that's fine, though. He'll come down here. He's going to go around. And he's going to go up. He's just going to do a little circle around this area, which I think will be fine. Cool. So that's what he'll do. A bunch of people down there using the phones in the yard. Some of them coming back in now. There's no one on that door control, quite obviously, because they weren't letting anyone in. Uh, we're moving all of that common room stuff over here now. So we're going to go a couple of pool tables there, because we, we have four of them. So we can... Uh, I don't like how they all walk in that corner. But that's nothing I can really do about that. So we get... Oh, if I want to get four, I can get one there easily. That's quite a nice spot to do it. I'll get another one there, I guess. Hopefully I didn't buy... I think I just bought new ones of those, which is quite unfortunate, actually. I didn't want to buy new ones. Uh, so the AA meeting chairs can go in here. AA meeting room. Oh, actually, is that, is that still there? No, I think... I don't know. They are, they, they are still there. Huh. Okay, hang on. Get rid of those. Um... Go do that, please. Can you just... Yeah. I don't know why that was still there. That shouldn't have been there. All right. So these can go like that and down and along. And leave a little cap there. Cool. So those are going to go in there. And then we're going to have a door on that. Just a... Uh... I don't know if people are upset. Some people are upset with me using wooden doors. But at the same time, I think we're okay. Eh, no, I guess we'll use... I, th I guess I'll use jail doors. Uh, not for the cleaning cupboard, though. I, I can't. I just cannot be bothered. Uh, <laughs> I cannot be bothered with the cleaning cupboard. Right. Uh, so this will be like this. Which hopefully is indoors and minimum of three by three. Really? That, how is that? Just, so what if I, if I did that, it would be fine. Yeah. If I do that, it's not fine. That's stupid. Oh, hang on. Now it's not fine. What? How is that not in? No, now it's fine. Uh, I don't know. Well, here's what we'll do. We can even make we can make that like a, a hot water boiler thing if we need to. So, yeah, whatever. That'll go there. Good. All right. So that's a cleaning cupboard. Let's go. Logistics, prison labor. I cannot assign anyone to that for some. Oh, there we go. Get four people on that. Why not? Gives them more jobs. Okay, so we got a couple of pool tables in there. Still waiting for that one to come in. Then we will get out our TVs, which in, you know, Prison Architect 2.0, they will actually be properly done. That was a weird way to say properly. They'll be done correctly, so that will be nice. But for now, we have to do it this way. Uh, of just placing loads of them so prisoners can use them. Uh, but until then, whatever. Uh, where can I put these phones? I think I'll just line them up, kind of like I did with the uh, TVs. There we go. Do that. And we have a bunch of them out here in the yard as well, anyway. All right, so that'll come in here. That'll be the common room. Uh, let's get some flooring in here. Not wooden. I don't want it to be wooden. I, I know I made some of the other ones wooden flooring. Those ones aren't. But I feel like this is high-risk prison. Maybe it should be something a little a little less inviting. Um, maybe, I don't know. We, no, concrete tiles looks awful as an indoor flooring because it's just huge tiles that look disgusting. It's like that, basically. It's, it's a good workshop floor, but I don't really want it for this. I don't mind just the plain old concrete, but I feel like we should change it to something else. Maybe some depressing mosaic tiles. That'll be nice. Well, it won't be nice. That's the point, really. But anyway, so I get all that stuff in there. Right, so let's remove the common room from here and from there. And let's go dismantle. Pretty much all these doors, all those cameras, all that kind of stuff. That door there. Uh, those two doors can probably stay. Although the kitchen will go down there, so that will probably change. Um, okay. Well, anyway, that will be all removed. This is our new common room. Looking absolutely 
suave now. Look at that common room. And then we'll, I will need to get CCTV in the area. Also, I don't know why I didn't dismantle that, because that really should have gone. Also, that toilet does not have water still. That's quite annoying. Anyway, there's one TV there too, which is interesting. All right, materials. Let's go demolish walls there. Uh, dismantle that door. I don't know why that door is still there, actually. <laughs> that should have gone as well. Uh, I think I will get rid of these because we're going to... I think I'm going to expand the kitchen so that will all change. Uh, so this wall will go there. And then we're going to go to demolish walls. It is 8 p.m. So we won't be eating till tomorrow. Should hopefully be good. Should Johnny be good? <laughs> that made no sense. Shh. All right, so let's go three by four. Let's see how many tables we can fit in here. And how many additional tables? Because at the moment, we have a 64 capacity, right? So we have uh, eight, you know, eight, 16, 32, 64. So we can make it 128 capacity by doing this. Uh, we could definitely rearrange it a little bit more as well so that we don't have random serving tables in the middle of the room like that, uh, which would probably be a smart idea. Uh, I think maybe if we... Let's have a look. So if we go like, if we have the, if we keep those tables there, three by four, we sort of have these two together. So that's 64 there. Then we do the similar thing on this side where we move the tables here. So these two tables are touch and tips. Then we'll obviously move that doorway. Then we have serving tables. Uh, oh, the, the spacing doesn't really work out very nicely, but yeah, we can have the serving tables down the middle. 15, we can have three serving tables there. Cause I want them to, I want them back to back. I guess what we could do, we could do like that and then have like a wall. Just as like a divider. So two sides of the canteen. Plenty of room for serving tables. That could be good. Right, so let's go demolish walls. Those two. Let's go dismantle, not utility, just dismantle stuff. All of these as well. Those two. Right, this all needs to be done before eight time in the morning. Otherwise, we're going to have a pretty rowdy prison on our hands if uh, we don't get this done. So, we want to make sure we get this done for the next eight time. So, let's just designate all of this as canteen. So, we're all going to come in and do this. Hopefully, before anything else. As long as there's a way in and that we have enough tables and all that kind of stuff, then we should be good. I want to... Let's get serving tables in first because that means that chefs will still be able to do their job. So, we'll get these in. So I have six serving tables, which should be very, very good. More than enough, hopefully. I'll get these tables in over here. And these tables will go in here. And then, go here, here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and here. And that's how you say here. Uh, so we get all these in. And then once all of this is placed in, then we can set about uh, beautifying the space and fixing up the doors. Because I'm pretty sure the doors... And also the floors look absolutely terrible right now. So let's get that in. Make sure that's done. And we'll need to expand the kitchen as well. So, I'm, well, first of all, that needs to be a wall. That can also be a wall. Because we have an entrance from the top. That'll be more than enough. Uh, so we'll want to probably... Actually, that door in the middle is kind of in the perfect spot. Because it lines up right there with all the serving tables. So that's actually not bad. Uh, but we will also want to demolish that wall there. Uh, so we can get into this space. And this will be part of the kitchen, essentially. But it looks like we have most of the stuff that we need uh, in here. Just going to remove planning. I will put a concrete wall there just for aesthetic reasons. And then we're going to go for materials, ceramic, flooring, and all of this. There you go. Just finish off the space. Make it look nice. So we, yeah, I think we'll... Yeah, we, mm, we can keep an entrance there. It's just that we can't really fit the, uh, the metal detectors in there. Which I guess is fine. Um... Because I just don't really know. I guess we can have metal detectors there, there, and there. It just means we have to <laughs> triple the amount of metal detectors that we have. I guess I could have left that door there, but that's all right. So we'll have one there. We'll have... I guess that door's still there as well. And then there's one from the outside, which I guess you wouldn't really use. There really should be one here as well, shouldn't there? And I guess we could do one, a wall there. That door really shouldn't have been there. I don't know why I put that door there. Because that, that... I guess it used to be a hallway, but then I forgot that I was changing. That door should be over there. And then that can be a wall. Because that should not be part of that room. I might even see if we can... Get a metal detector. We can get them there and there. Just trying to see where we can fit them in around the doors. Because if I do it like that, you can sort of walk into the table, which doesn't make much sense. I think the problem with this one... 
is that uh, I also don't even have metal detectors on half of these doors, which is interesting. Uh, these ones have to go outside. These ones, uh, that one's kind of dumb. I don't want to do that one. This one can't really have metal detectors. There's not really any room. I have to go there, but then that means this person from that cell can go through without getting detected. I do need to move that though. And also it's not even connected to a hot water pipe, so I will have to fix that too, obviously. Get that there. And then let's go a couple metal So Basically, this person can walk through on the kitchen to their cell without going through a metal detector. That's the only person that can do that. Uh, which I don't know if I'm, I'm keen about that, but you know, these things happen. Uh, now this one over here. That's my plan with that one. I don't know how, like, I mean, if these are going to blow up the, the thing on my mob, but we'll see how we go. Okay. So there's no power on that. Fair enough. Hopefully we don't overload it. Uh, destination overloaded. Loaded. Loaded. Oh, yeah. That's something we need to do. Have not done any door servos on any of these. So people are going to have trouble getting in right now. Uh, that's all right. We'll, we'll get those connected soon. How's that going? Actually, that looks all right. I don't think these do a whole lot. No, it goes up a little bit. I think we should... We'll probably be teetering, maybe, on the edge. But that should be okay. All right, so hot water. Looks like we're having a little bit of trouble here getting the hot water over this area. That's also got no power on it. Uh, so I guess the hot water from down here is not quite reaching. Which is fine, because we actually have the perfect spot for another one. Right there. Which was kind of accidental, but it actually worked out for the best. So that's going to come all the way along to there. Uh, and then that can just connect up there. Good, alright. Cool, alright, so uh, those door servos in. No, but I'm going to see if I can get them to do them now. So I can just connect all of them up. Because that will just save me some time. That one's not done yet, but that's okay. I mean, that one is done. I mean, it's not connected yet. Which is okay, but I will connect it up. Uh, so we have door control, door control. Might use you. And that. Good enough. All right, so this needs uh, power, which I thought... Oh, yeah, no, I did give it power. It just hasn't been connected yet. I think I also put one there, but anyway, whatever. Uh, cool, that has power. How is this going? Oh, my God. That with extra power is going to do it. That's gonna do it. Uh, how about this? How is that one doing? That one's okay. If we can actually transfer some of the the load to this one, maybe if we cut off. Hmm. Because that that is literally like we we can't <laughs> we cannot add anything else onto that. Maybe we can go. Ugh. No, I need a. So that's all connected. here. Does that connect through the top? No, it connects through here. What if we go dismantle that utility there? There you go. And then what if I connect that up to here? Is that going to be too much for the other power station? Uh, okay, can someone do that, please? Like now? They're, out, like, they're probably getting stuck in the high-risk area where all the doors no longer work. And he's walking the other way. <sighs> Can you just... Where are you going? You have to go like all the way to delivery just to get one piece of the cable that we just dismantled from there. Can't you just transfer the cable? Just like plug it in there instead? Oh, that's fine. Cool. All right. So that should have balanced the load out a little bit more. Cool. All right, so then this doesn't have hot water to it. Because I just got to do that, and that should be fine. Yeah, so this is the one security hole is going to that cell there, which doesn't have metal detectors. But pretty much any other way you go, you get scanned on the way out of the kitchen. Unless you are in this cell. Except for... Petit. Ella Petit. Search cell. I'm just going to make sure. <laughs> because I know you can sneak stuff in there from the kitchen. So I want to be I want to be careful with her. Keep it keep an eye on her. Oh, <laughs> she's a sneaky one. All right, so let's get some more lights down here because this is quite dark. Uh, let's get some more sprinklers as well, actually, around the place. I always forget to get more sprinklers, but you know what? 
today I'm remembering. Let's go dismantle. That's a fridge. So we'll want another fridge. How many? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Of eight cookers. So that means we should have had four fridges, but we only have three. Um, let's have a look. Hang on. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A sink down there. Uh, wait, how many things do I have? Because <laughs> I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get the ratios here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we should have six fridges. One, two, and then I dismantle that one. Three, four, five, six. Okay, cool. That should be right. Let's go room and kitchen down to there. And let's go for some materials of ceramic tiles. Because we have $81,000. Let's get all that in. I don't think there's going to be water down here. I'll bring it this way. And I'm pretty sure there's uh, some sprinklers around here that won't be connected as well. But we'll figure that, out, figure that out in a minute. Okay, cool. So let's have a look at the me deployment. Oh, bugger. Why is that all changed? That's probably gone in put the wrong people in there now. It's annoying when it does that because then sometimes you get the wrong designation of people. I think we're okay though. We still have the right number. Um, what about one of those people that were having to be locked down forever? Are they... Did they just leave the prison or something? I think they just got... You know, like they were allowed to leave the prison which is fair enough. Uh, intelligence, informants, uh, activate, activate. Activation unknown, known, known. Because I want to see if we got any... Snitches or anything in here. I don't know that we do. The uh, rest of the prison looks pretty good. Hey guys, uh, you're still en route. You are in. You're in. Okay, you're going to be deactivated. I'm waiting for you though. Oh, you're in there as well. Okay. No, there's no one. Okay. Deactivate. Cool. Fair enough. Uh, thanks guys. Uh, right. Now, actually, what grid is this connected to? Because that might blow up this thing again, actually. <laughs> Yeah, we're getting uh, pretty close. As soon as this all connects in, this could uh, this could very well actually blow up this... Not blow it up, but like, go over the limit. Oh my god. Ugh. I'm pretty sure with those three, or well, those four connected in, it's going to be too much. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Because seriously, those are going to be too much. Um, let me just not put those in right now. So it doesn't... Connect up. We need to get that power grid over there, but I can't. Hang on. How is this power? How's this? How's this one going? That one's okay. Okay. So this power grid, we could actually transfer maybe this bottom bit. Let's go dismantle that bit. No, 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 no. Oh, no, I need that bit. Hang on. Because that, that's actually powering all that workshop, which I do, I do need that bit. But what I can dismantle is that bit and that bit and those bits. Oh, actually, I guess that bit there. Okay, put that one in. Sorry, because what I'm trying to do is just get these thingos off of it. Okay, can you get that bit back in? Okay, so this is going to go... Really? I hate how they can dismantle them so quickly, but they take five years to get over here and do anything else. Uh, oh well, I'm waiting. Just waiting on the world to change. And by world, I mean game, because I'm just waiting for these guys to come over here. Here we go. Alright, so that should be back on. Good. And then, can this get done as well? That didn't take a lot of load off, which is unfortunate. I don't know what else I can do, really. The problem the problem is, it's just powering a whole workshop. Um, which is where most of the usage is coming from. So, and then this one, it's coming from here. That should be okay to power a couple more of those. What about this one? This could, uh, this, I know this one can do more, but there's not really anywhere I can... The problem is, it's in the way. Like, you can't cross the power lines. You can't cross me streams. Oh, actually, I might be, we might want to go this way. If we if we brought this power line... Oh, no, that's in the way there. Hmm. 
What if we go and dismantle that and that? So cut that off. Then we'll cut it off there. I don't know if this one can handle it, but we'll find out. Oh, okay. That guy, that guy like literally half put in the cable, like more than half put in the cable, but didn't do the rest. Okay. Well, thank you. Um, hang on. Where is this connected to? Is this connected to that? No. Anyway, can someone, what, why? Why did you do that? Why did you do most of the cable and not the rest? All right, so that will go there. Right, is that one fine? No, it's not. Damn it. Ugh. Okay, well, we can do... I'm just trying to see where we can... It's, it's, it's a real balancing act. What if we do those two, get rid of those two bits? This is so. This is really dangerous to be doing this, actually, with the uh, high risk inmates, but we'll see how we go. Right, let's go over here, turn it on. How is it? I think it's okay. <laughs> I think that's okay. Right, then this one's going to come back to there so it can power all of this. which hopefully it should be able to do because it's currently got almost no load on it because we took everything off. Um, yeah, if that can go through there and do it, that'd be good because that one's doing that. We've got a little bit... <laughs> this is like a balancing act of three power stations just trying to get the most efficient grid that can... Because uh, I don't want to build a whole other uh, power station, which we don't we don't really need a whole other one. Can, uh, can these people just connect these, please? Because we have no power in like the entirety of the high-risk area. Hello? Okay, they're going up there. He's going to do that. Okay, that's good, but can we get that one? That's kind of more important. That... Oh, why are they so inefficient in putting power cables in? <laughs> why are you guys so bad at this? Come on. Here he comes. He's going through the security office. He's coming around. Here he comes. Here he comes. And here comes a drum. Here comes a drum. Da -da. Now, will this... Overload it. No, it doesn't. <gasps> we have the key. Good. All right. So now that one's pretty full. That one's incredibly full. That one's okay. Uh, which would be great if we could get power lines to come across the lake because that would have solved like 50 million problems, but you can't. So, oh, those are capacitors. Whoops. And I've just wasted $8,000. What I was trying to do is say, you can't do that. Um, uh, we can't go there either. Can we go? We can't go under perimeter walls, can we? No. So you wouldn't even be able to go around and bring it. Now, anyway, I think the way I did it is probably the only way it was going to work. Which is weird, but it worked. So let's get those in. Get those two in. Good. All right. Let's get also these uh, water pipes. And down there. And up and around there. Cool. All right. So that should... Now be sufficient enough to cater for all the high-risk prisoners that we have. Uh, actually, also the program I need to redo for Alcoholics Anonymous uh, programs. Let's see. Also, apparently 20 interested in this, but no one wants to do it. There we go. Hang on. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. Let's try again. Nope. Just those two. Okay. That's fine. 11 interested in these, but no one wants to do them. Fair enough. I mean, it's not fair enough. It's actually really annoying. That'd be three. There you go. Two. Uh, behavioral therapy. This is also the really annoying one. We have so many people in the queue for it, but almost no one that wants to actually be doing it. Now, if we can just keep the ones that have people in it, because I'm pretty sure it's just the high-risk inmates that need it. Well, that seem to need it. Uh, let's see. Alcoholic group therapy. So this one is in that room. There's one in... What about in the, uh... oh, did I not mark it as a room? I might not have marked it. Hang on. Where am I? I'm lost. No, I didn't mark it. That's why. Uh, we need to go to common room. Wherever that may be. 
Did I say it again? I've lost it. Common. Oh, cumin. I obviously want common room. There we go. Okay, hang on. Let's stop this. Uh, okay, can we get that to work? Hang on, let me... What if I close that and reopen it? All right, let's get back in. Uh, yes, definitely marked as a common room. Good. Okay, so behavioral therapy. No, we want uh, group therapy. Here we go. Is that... That's in that one. So that's good. There's no one in that one, so there's no point doing that one. There's no point doing that, that or that. Actually, what I should have done is just done this first. Go all the way through until we can't do any more. So we want to run those two programs there. Cool. Uh, and no one's in that one. Whatever. Because I don't think we have that many protective custody inmates. Okay, so... That's now running. There's no lights in that room by the looks of it. Or... No, there is actually. It's just as... We don't have any sight line in there, which is not safe. But uh, that still doesn't have any... I would have thought that would have connected through... Just through each other. Oh, well, do that. There you go. How's that going? Perfectly fine. There you go. Yeah, we, we seem to have uh, somehow done okay on that. Uh, deployment. I feel like we should have some more guards around the place. Especially the guy that goes into this room and has a look. Because we don't have any security cameras anywhere at the moment. Which we should probably have. Uh, let's, yeah, let's get, let's get some security cameras back in this place. We have three of them that we're not using. Get one there, one there. Uh, I guess we should probably have one in here. And they probably are able to come up there. I don't know. Why don't I have any security cameras in these rooms? That seems like an oversight. Or even in the nursery. What? Why do I have so many dead zones where I can't see anything? <laughs> it seems really stupid. But you know what? That sounds like something I would do. So fair enough. Uh, okay, so in comes that camera. So we should be able to... I assume one of these is probably not full anymore. That one is definitely not full. Or that one. That's only got three. So this can definitely have more. Four, five. So they have eight, right? Yeah. As far as I'm aware. So we get one in there. So we have six. Seven. Eight. And that should be all I can do on that one. And then we'll go to the other one because we have a few more cameras that I need to connect. So what do I have on this one? I have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. That's perfect. Wait. No, it's not. Hang on. I did too many. One, two. Oh, okay. Okay. There goes me perimeter wall. Good thing that no prisoners can actually get to this area anyway. Otherwise, that would be a problem. So let's go. Oh, okay. Don't build that bit. Go fix that, please. Um... Yeah, we have a slight issue with cameras because I did that a little bit wrong, I think. Hang on. Okay, here we go. Connect. Let me have a look. So this one, that one's fine. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Why do I have ten? How did I manage having ten on that? I don't know. Anyway, uh, clear connections on that one and I'll clear it on that one. And the rest should always be on. Hang on. Wait, is it still flicking through them? Wait, how many? Did... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I still have another one on there. Jeez, why do I have so many? I don't know. I don't know why I ended up having so many uh, connectors on that. Anyway, I might... we probably have one up here that I can use because these are. That's only got four on it, so let's use this one. Four, five, six, seven. Perfect. All right. Good. All right, so now we have better sight line around the place, which is good. And we have a nice big canteen that has lots of places for food. Don't know that they're actually feeding everyone, because it certainly does not look that way. It looks like we only fed half of our prisoners. Uh, but we do have two eat times, so I think that's probably fine. If we have a look at food, yeah, that's fine. No problem. Uh, we should do another shakedown uh, just before the end of this episode, so we can make sure that we are, you know, doing okay. And I get another 10 guards. We get 120 guards. Why not? We're going to get some more cooks. I'm going to go up to 30. One, I guess, because I did that by accident. But yeah, cool. Uh, then we want to build the rest of these cells, probably, because we haven't done that yet. So I'm going to get some lights down here, because it looks like it's quite dark. And we're going to go quick build. And we're going to go just clone all of, I guess, that bit, because that's all I can clone. And then that bit there. Why didn't it get that bit? Hang on. 
There you go. I don't know why it missed out some of that. Cool. All right, so that'll go in. And when we'll have some more cells. Actually, I didn't even... I didn't reassign these cells. I totally... I knew... I knew when I was doing this, I'm like, I'm going to forget to do that. And I totally did. But now I haven't. So that should increase our capacity to 80. And that will be another 10. So we'll have 90 high-risk prisoners. And we can have 128 in there. So that's still fine. Which is good. It's good to know. Good, good, good to know. The shower blocks are probably too small. They were too small when we built them the first time. Oh, that's a bit of a squeak of the microphone, and they'll probably be too small later as well. But that's fine. Uh, anyway, so the uh, the high-risk area has been successfully increased, which is a very, very good. And the shakedown is almost done. And our cells are built, which is good. Cool. And there goes the shakedown. Sweet. I don't actually... I don't know why that pipe isn't built. Let's see, I don't actually know if... Um, there was any tunnels, because I was... Actually, afk for that bit. Uh, let me see. Oh, a little bit of a tunnel there. Nice. Maybe some down there. I'm not sure. And, and let's just check. Let's just do one of these. Sweep over the prison with remove tunnels. Cool. All right. So let's just go through and do that. So it looks like we do actually have a lot of food in the prison. But it doesn't look like that we have enough kitchen stuff over here. Like, I don't know where my kitchen stuff are. But they don't appear to be here in this kitchen. They must be in a different one. Because it's like not all the food is getting served. Oh, I, th I think we're good. I think we're fine though. Like if we have a look at needs. Oh, oh, go away. Uh, needs. Yeah, food. It's fine. Like even though they're not being like, I don't know. Even though we can't see a lot of food being served, they all seem to be well fed still. So that's okay. <sighs> that's good. All right. So we have um, capacity of 90 high risk uh, prisoners now, which is pretty impressive. If not incredibly dangerous because our normal security is 171 176 capacity actually we have for normal security prisoners which is pretty good uh, and then very soon very very soon and by very soon i mean literally next episode i am going to start on building the uh minimum risk area of the prison because we have 153 thousand dollars so we don't have to worry about that too much uh at all so i wonder how much is this to buy Seventy thousand? No, we won't. I'm not going to spend seventy thousand on that. I think we'll build this first, then we can expand if we want. Um, but yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time, and have an awesome day.